Hello, my name is Stephen G. I will demonstrate data map. The idea is very simple. You take a data matrix and turn them into heat maps without writing any code. Dimensionality reduction plots like PCA or TSNE. You could have very simple data matrix like this, rows and columns, or you have some annotations here. Data maps use the Shiny Live platform to run Shiny apps in your browser. Data stays in your browser, never uploaded into a server. So this whole app is hosted on GitHub have pages so you have better privacy. You could also install this as an R package. Another thing that is very unique about data map is that I prompted AI wrote 95% of the code. This is one of my experiments with AI. In this demo, our data is from this study where they used ionizing radiation to treat mouse B cells with or without a functional P53. Our data has 476 genes that has found to be specifically operated regulated by radiation in a P53 dependent manner. We upload the data on the data. So we'll import, decrease the z-score cutoff so that we can use color more effectively. We will upload more information about genes and experiments. Firstly, the samples uh, with experimental conditions. We have two factors, genotype and treatment here. We upload this file, go files, upload column annotation. I found the file with our experiment design and import. So we turn both of the conditions on. We can have more information about genes, the roles. So here we have whether these genes related to apoptosis based on gene ontology. We upload this file, row annotation here, we import, turn both them on. You can see these showed up as these color bars in here. You start to see, for example, this group of genes are downregulated in mutant, not downregulated in wild type. But there is close to 500 genes in here, so very hard to see. One of the easy methods you can make this increase the height of the graph. Now you can read and you could change the color obviously you can download cut trees to make clusters to make five clusters some genes is a its own cluster but we have big cluster in here cut the trees for the column you can also come back to transformation the top 30 genes by standard deviation of 30 genes you can create more easily read the side uh, annotations here the pca tab you will see the distribution of genes on pc1 pc2 plot and you can also switch this to samples you can also label the sample names by clicking on this. The TSNE plot shows the nonlinear dimensionality reduction of the genes. You can also switch this to samples and use this to highlight clustering of single cell RNA sequence data, like example shown here. 